this is MJ and in today's tutorial I'm going to be doing a pattern remake with you. I'll be remaking the modern day shawl. This is another video that is on my channel but the yarn is discontinued and this is one of my favorite shawls. So I wanted to do a little update for you in Brava Tweed Worsted Weight Yarn. This yarn is from We Crochet and there will be a link in the description box on where you can purchase and you will need three balls in total to make this shawl. I'll be using the beautiful blue color that's called Huron and the hook that I'll be using is a Streamline Swirl Cafe hook from Furls Crochet and I'm using the 5.5 millimeter eye hook. So now to begin we'll make a magic ring. So take the yarn wrapping it around your index finger three times. Now we'll take our hook sliding it through all three of the loops on our finger. Take the first loop, pulling it through, and we'll chain three. The chain three will count as our first double crochet. We'll work two double crochet, and then we'll do a chain two, and then we'll work three double crochet. So we have three on this side of the chain two, and then we'll do three more. Okay, so now we have a total of six stitches. I am going to tighten up my ring now. So to do that, we'll take the tail and we'll begin to pull it. And you're gonna notice only one of those loops is pulling in. So just take the loop that's pulled and then give it a tug. It's gonna tug that other loop and then we can take our tail and pull. Okay, so now we've started out with our first little triangle. This pattern will be increasing every row by six stitches. So we'll turn and we'll chain three. And in this very first stitch, we're gonna work two more stitches. Now I'm gonna work a herringbone double crochet. So go through, grabbing the yarn. Now we're gonna pull it through the first loop on the hook. Yarn over, pull through one, yarn over, and pull through two. So that's a herringbone double crochet, and this is what will work this shawl in. So yarn over, going back through the same stitch, pulling up a loop, pulling it through the first loop on the hook, yarn over, pull through one, yarn over, pull through two. Now we'll work across in herringbone double crochets until we reach the chain two space. Okay, so now I've come to my chain two space. I'm gonna work a double crochet, chain two, and a double crochet. Now we'll work across in herringbone double crochets until we reach our turning chain. So a herringbone double crochet, herringbone double crochet, and then here is the turning chain. In the turning chain, we'll now add three. So there's one, two, and three. So now if you count your stitches, we started with three, four, five, six on this side, one, two, three, four, five, six on this side. You should now have 12 stitches. So we've increased six and we'll continue to increase by six stitches for every row. And chain three, one, two, three. In our very first stitch, we're adding two herringbone double crochets because our chain three counts as one. So there's one, and there's two. 
So there's three in the first stitch. Then we'll work again. We'll work across herringbone double crochets until we reach the chain two space. Okay, and then when we've reached the chain two space, we'll do a double crochet, chain two, and a double crochet. And now we'll work herringbone double crochets in every stitch across, and then work three into the turning chain. So I'll work across with you. I find with the herringbone double, if I just put my finger here, it just helps me to maneuver through that first loop. You may be able to not have to do that and just get it, I mean, you can get it curved and get it under, but I just find placing my finger there just helps me to do it a little bit quicker. Okay, so I finished working that across. I now have nine on this side, nine on this side. So I have a total of 18 stitches and so you are just going to keep increasing in this manner and this is you can make this shawl really as large as you want you just keep continuing in rows until you get your desired size so I continue to work my shawl until I had a total of 36 rows now at the 36 row mark my shawl is measuring about 20 to 21 inches and the length across the top is about 60 inches. So I blocked my shawl out. I laid it down on mats. So you'll need four of the large mats and you can wet your shawl so you can just put it into some lukewarm water with just a tad of dish soap and then just lay it out and pin it to measurements. The other option would be to steam block it when you lay it out on the mats but you just want to really be careful that you don't melt the acrylic. This is acrylic yarn. So you just need to be careful that you don't overheat the yarn or it can damage it. So once you're finished blocking, you can just remove it. Make sure that your shawl is fully dried and then we can add some tassels to finish it off. And that is just optional. You don't have to add the tassels, but I'm gonna do three and add them to each corner. And I just wanted to show you I have this much yarn left from making my shawl the size I did. So if you wanted to go a little bit bigger, still within that three balls, you definitely can. And just a little tip is sometimes if you want to make sure you have enough for the tassels, just work your tassels off and continue working. You could even finish all of the yarn up and get an even larger shawl. So here are a couple tassels I already made. So I've made two and I'll just show you how to do them this size. You can always have them a little bit shorter if you want. Mine are fairly long, but it's really up to you. So I've measured out a total of 16 inches. So just take your measuring tape and measure off about 16 inches. And then I have just counted off 22 strands at that 16 inch mark. Now you might want to grab the yarn. It's a little bit more of a pain, but from the outside of the ball, the yarn won't be as crinkly as if you pull from the inside. But you can always steam these as well after they're finished if you want them to be nice and straight. Okay, so then what you want to do is just take another longer strand of yarn, maybe not as long as I did it, but just this will be tying to the shawl. And you just want to knot that good and tight around the center of the strands. So I did a total of 22. Then what we can do is take another long strand of yarn and we're going to make the tassel ball. So 
When you're doing the knot, I like to go once and then twice and then that just holds it in place. Won't come loose when you pull it tight. Just knot it again. I guess the benefit of having the long pieces is it gives you lots for weaving down into the tassel. So then I just like to wrap this around a couple times. Come back around and then I'm gonna get a yarn needle and just weave this down. So take your yarn needle. Okay, and then take the other piece and you can do the same thing. You can wrap it a couple times. Okay, and then what you wanna do is just trim. So I just like to kind of take a look at my other tassel just so I'm gonna cut them that they're about the same. And usually it's just kind of evening off all the tails. Okay, and that's about right. So you want to make sure you have the three and then I'll just show you how I attach them onto the shawl. So for this pattern, your right and wrong side doesn't really matter. They look the same. The only thing I would say is that this, that whatever row you end on, so if you make it bigger or smaller, that's fine. Just whatever row you end on, I like how the edge always looks a little bit nicer than this side here. So it doesn't matter really where you start or what row you end on, just make sure the row you end on, you pick as your right side when you're wearing it. I mean, really, I guess at the end of the day, it doesn't, it's not a huge deal, but nobody's going to notice but you. So what we're going to do now is tie to the corners. Okay, you can knot it, maybe I'll knot it three times just to be on the extra cautious side. Okay, and then what you're gonna do is just weave down through your tassel. Okay, and then you can just trim those tails to line up with the tassel. Okay, and then you have your nice tassel attached. And just do that for the other corners and then your shawl is complete. You could add a faux garment take to it just to personalize it, but other than that, it's ready to wear. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel and tap the bell to stay updated on all my new videos and tutorials. Thanks so much guys, have an awesome day.